saw we saw stuff about you guys the first day of spring, and that that, seemed, that was weeks ago. And here you are, the blue gray game is Saturday. How has the progression been, especially defensively, for you guys over the last few weeks? Oh, it's almost been night and day from where we were. Uh, the competitiveness really wasn't all it was there, but it was there in spurts at the beginning of the spring, and now the coaching staff just won't let us back down, and it's carried out throughout the entire spring. And now I believe we've really learned how to practice and how to learn how to be competitive and stay with at that competitive level. You guys go home and you see some teams that are just starting spring, and you guys are almost done with your with the new coaching staff with so much newness to it. Have you guys been able able to absorb all this stuff, or has it been crazy trying to get all this new stuff in in just a short amount of time? Oh, it's it's been crazy for sure, and uh, they've been, they've been doing a great job of staying on top of us and making sure that we know what we need to know and when we need to do it. And uh, man. You're so nervous. Yeah, I am so nervous. <laughs> Trust me, this is a lot easier than chasing down quarterbacks. Oh, what, man. What, what did you guys think was the most important thing? What did you guys want to get done in spring as you head to the blue-gray game Saturday? What's the most important the most important thing that you guys have gotten done over these few weeks? I know you have some practices next week, but what have you guys really gotten done that you wanted to get done when this thing first started? Really just to learn how to compete. There were times in the season where we would – I mean, we would show moments where we'd be on top and then we'd get comfortable and lose it. And the thing was not to be complacent with where we are and where we've been and to keep pushing to another level to where we're trying to get to. Because we got to go up. There's only one way for this program to go, and we have to be it. Uh, go ahead. Talk about the uh, energy and excitement the new coaching staff's brought to this team this spring. Well, the defense coaching staff is definitely the most competitive staff I've been around with Coach Odom and Coach Scott. And Coach Vaughn and Billings, they just, they're themselves are the most competitive people we've probably ever met. And that's what they've been instilling on us, is to try to be competitive. And they, it's the same way to all the way down the board. Chris, talk about, uh, it's always like a player or two, but I mean, during the spring that stands out that nobody was really noticing maybe before. Is anyone on the defensive side of the ball that's really been making plays on consistently? The one I have to say right now the most is uh, Kyrie. Kyrie Battle. He didn't see the field a lot last season, and then he's really stepped up in this new position that we have him. It's basically a stand-up in with the dog position, and he showed up every day with the same energy, same competitiveness, and been making plays all over the field. Talk a little bit about this defense. The, the, how is it different? How? Well, why does it got you guys excited about it, about how to play this defense next year when when all this rolls around? I don't think it's so much the defensive scheme that we have, but it's keeping everybody excited. It's the uh, like I said earlier with the coaching staff that we have going around. These guys are it's a, such a high tempo, and they demand so much, and they demand so much of themselves that they just make that they, it's making them demand us to do more, and it makes ourselves demand us to do more. At the beginning of spring, just about everybody we talked to said that they knew that this program, the only way it had to go was up, and they were looking forward that the changes would give them another opportunity to kind of change the way people perceive Tiger basketball, a Tiger football. Excuse me. You've had three weeks on it. Do you sense the guys in the locker room that the pride factor, that this thing is heading in the right direction, that you guys are, are doing what you have to do now in March, that'll help you come September, November? Definitely. I believe so. With the way we've been working out in the weight room, how we've been working so hard, we haven't let up. There hasn't been a single off day, even on Sundays we're up here. And uh, just the way practice has been going, we've been going full. We haven't stopped that. And then we got the spring game, like you said, coming up. And it's just hoping to keep all that energy going throughout the entire time. Talk a little bit about that. Your fans are going to see you for the first time Saturday. It's all new to them. And I know it's not a spring game like it used to be. At least Coach Fuente said it's not going to be a game, really. It's going to be more of a scrimmage practice. But what do you tell your fans? What should they expect? And how excited are you guys to finally roll out there? And while it's not a real game, to have people in the stands to kind of see all the hard work that you guys have put in. The excitement level heading into Saturday. It's going to be exciting for sure. Uh, Coach Fuente has been telling us, you know, this isn't just another practice. It's not. Gonna, he doesn't know how the, we don't know how the scrimmage has been before he's been here. But this is how he's going to do it, and this is going to be treated as a game. This is going to be just like we're in the Liberty Bowl. It's our home. That's where we play games at, and this is going to be another game that we're going to play. Whether there's going five fans in the stands or forty thousand fans in the stands, it doesn't. That's not going to dictate how the scrimmage is going to be ran and the energy that we're going to bring. It's, it's just translated from the practice field to the game field. What should the fans expect? I mean, you know, what, what should they look for from this new Tiger team under Coach Fuente on Saturday? 
it'll be definitely be a different energy, a different excitement. A lot of guys running around the ball, a lot of guys screaming, being loud, making plays everywhere, more relaxed, more comfortable in your position. Talk about the strength uh, and conditioning program in the off season. Do y'all feel stronger? Uh, do you feel like this is a better uh, conditioning program than you've been through in the past? Um, I believe so. This uh, What we've been doing now is we've been trying to get stronger in the weight room, which has probably been our biggest weakness is our strength-wise. And they've been pushing us. We've been going heavy almost every other day. And uh, just keep they keep pushing us to do that that much. And then 